Hi class, in this lecture demonstration we'll explore Google's advanced search options. You've seen advanced search features for the library databases and you've been introduced to advanced search techniques such as Boolean operators, phrase searching, nesting, and more. Many, but not all, of these advanced search features can be applied in your Google searches. For example, let's say you are researching the digital divide in Africa. If I do a simple keyword search, with no advanced technique applied, I get millions of hits. Take a look. When I type in the word, the keywords digital divide and Africa, I get nearly 4 million hits. But many of the same advanced search techniques will work in Google. For example, I can add phrase searching by putting digital divide in quotation marks, just like you do in the library databases, and end up with search results that are much more focused and relevant for my search topic. By making that one simple change, I've reduced my search results from 4 million to approximately 450,000. Most Boolean search operators work in Google too. The AND operator is automatically added between every word you type. So our search statement is really digital divide and Africa. The AND operator narrows your results. If you want to make them broader and include additional keywords, the OR operator works as well. We can add the synonym digital split to our search because some experts write using that term instead of digital divide. It might be helpful to include them both. Let's see what happens to our search results when we add that in. Remember, the term AND is automatically included before the search term Africa. Also, take note that I have nested the terms digital split and digital divide so that Google knows to search for both digital split and Africa and digital divide and Africa. Nesting works well with similar concepts and synonyms. We've now got almost 500,000 search results, so we have more hits by adding the additional phrase digital split. Of note, Boolean not searches work in Google too, but you don't type in the word not. Instead, you use the minus sign. Want to avoid Wikipedia because your teacher doesn't allow it? Tell Google not to include it. Now I've got 482,000 results. That means approximately 18,000 search results included the word Wikipedia. However, it's good to realize that while this approach is useful, not only did it remove every search result from the Wikipedia website, it also removed any web pages that included as part of their discussion of the digital divide in Africa a mere mention of the word Wikipedia. Using the Boolean not operator needs to be done thoughtfully. Fortunately, Google provides many other advanced search functions that can help with improving the accuracy of your Google search and add further control and filtering options like you have in the library databases. If you navigate to Google Advanced Search, you can just Google this. Um, Uh, it's located online at www.google.com slash advanced underscore search. You will see a search interface that looks more like the search interface in many of the library databases. If we review the options, we can see some of the possibilities we have for improving our search results through Google. In the Find Pages With section, 
Google provides you with search help for Boolean search terms. All these words corresponds to the AND operator. Any of these words corresponds to the OR operator. Finally, none of these words corresponds to the NOT operator. Phrase searching, this exact word or phrase, is also available, as are options for numbers. This section is to control your search term using advanced search techniques. The next section on their advanced search screen is for filtering options. This will narrow your search results based on specific criteria, such as language, region, time of last page updates, site or domain, where the search terms appear in the web page, file type, and usage rights. There is also an option for safe search if you need to filter out explicit material such as pornography. I'll demonstrate use of Google Advanced Search by attempting the same search I just did for the topic of digital divide in Africa. So first, I'll strategically use the search options Google has provided for me. I'll type Africa into the All These Words box because I definitely want it to appear in my search results. Next, I'll type digital and divide into the exact word or phrase box, since I want Google to treat the words as one single search concept of digital divide. Next, I'll use the none of these words options to prevent Wikipedia from turning up in my search results. I perform the search and I get about 480,000 results. Which is similar to before but not the same because I didn't include the term digital split. As I look at my search results screen, I can see that Google has provided me with my revised advanced search statement in the search box. It says Africa digital divide, in quotation marks, minus Wikipedia. I can add digital split back into my search and see what happens. Unfortunately, the Google Advanced Search screen doesn't easily allow you to include two phrase searches in your search. So I'll revise it here in my search results. Still, I want to take care with how I add it in. If I just type in the term digital split with quotation marks to control for a phrase search, I will be using the AND operator and thus requiring that my search results include both digital split and digital divide. This will leave out a bunch of search results that use either one term or the other, but not both. Let's take a look. By adding digital split to the search using the AND operator, I come up with only 475 search results, all of which contain both sets of terminology. I want either or, so I will use the or operator with nesting to edit my search query. Now I have 482,000 results, which is the same as I came up with after my first effort using Google search along with advanced search technique, but I'd like to narrow it down more. I'll use some of the filtering options to do that. Often, when the title of a web page includes your search term, it is much more relevant to your search results. This is one way that content creators make sure that their web pages float closer to the top of the search results.
by using important keywords in the title of the page. Google allows us to search for words only in the title of the web page. In the filtering options, I'll select terms appearing in the title of the page. By doing this, I can significantly reduce my number of Google search results. I end up with just over 1,100, and these are much more relevant. However, I still want to solve the problem of eliminating web pages mentioning Wikipedia. I want to eliminate all search results from the Wikipedia website, but not eliminate a search result about the digital divide in Africa that happens to mention Wikipedia. I'll go back to my Google Advanced Search screen to show you one approach to doing this. First off, I'm going to delete the criteria for not Wikipedia. Just clear that out of there. Google allows us to search according to specific websites or domains. For example, if I only wanted to search for information about the digital divide on the UN website, the United Nations, I can tell Google to only search that site by using the site or domain filtering option. I just type in un.org. and press the search button. I get back just a few results, but they are all about Africa and the digital divide. I'll also take note of the revised search statement Google has provided me with. I can see Google uses the command site colon un.org with no spaces in order to search just that one website. Of note, you also have the option of narrowing your search to a specific domain. You can do this for any website or domain. A domain is the end of the site address like .edu, .com, .org, or .gov, for example. Now, I can apply what I know about Google Advanced Search in order to eliminate Wikipedia results from my general search on the digital divide in Africa. At the same time, I will add in the search term digital split so I can get it both. So let's check that out. I will clear my Google Advanced Search and start from scratch. I definitely want the word Africa, so I'll type that into the All These Words search field. I also want any web pages that contain either the search phrase digital divide or digital split. So I'll include both of those in any of these words search field, which gives me an or operator search for the two phrases. I'm getting both an OR search and a phrase search by doing it this way. Finally, now that I know how to search for a specific website, I can use the none of these words search fields to use the NOT operator and eliminate any results from the Wikipedia website. I'll type in the search command site colon wikipedia.org and it is really important that you use the command properly with no spaces. Once I've got all my search criteria in place, I can press search. Okay, that's better. Now I have 490,000 results. None are from Wikipedia. To further increase the relevance, I'll look for results only in the title of the page.
When I add the all in title command, my results go down to almost 1200. Now there are additional ways to reduce your search results like by file type. If you are looking for PDFs, you can limit your search to that file type. I've added the file type criteria for PDFs, and now I have just over 100 search results, all of which are PDFs. I encourage you to play around with Google Advanced Search. Get to know the individual commands if you prefer shortcuts to using the Google Advanced Search interface. Thanks. I hope you have found the demonstration useful.